In today's digital age, as we stand at the start of a new era of technological advancement and bear witness to the exponential rise in the number of digital devices, we find ourselves facing an unparalleled surge in the demand for digital forensic services. This surge is not just a mere increase, it's a tidal wave, overwhelming our existing infrastructures and systems specifically designed for digital investigations. From smartphones to IoT devices, the exponential growth in digital touchpoints has brought about a plethora of digital evidence. Evidence that, when deciphered correctly, holds the key to solving not just traditional crimes, but also newer, more complex cybercrime. A 2022 report has found police forces are unable to keep pace with technology when it comes to digital forensics and there's a backlog of more than 25,000 devices waiting to be examined. And where there's delay, there's a compromise. Delays that not only hinder timely justice, but also raise concerns about the quality and integrity of investigations. Imagine a scenario where critical digital evidence from a device becomes obsolete or inaccessible, just because we couldn't get to it in time. The entire essence of digital forensics lies in its timely and precise extraction and interpretation of digital data. And when we're throttled by capacity constraints, the very core of this discipline is at risk. But that's not where our challenges end. The digital realm is ever evolving with technology advancing at breakneck speeds. Digital forensics isn't just about extracting data. It's about understanding it, interpreting it and ensuring its admissibility in a court of law. The tools and techniques used a year ago might soon be obsolete. Newer devices and technologies come with newer encryption methods and security protocols. To decipher these, digital forensics professionals need to be on top of their game, constantly updating their skills. However, the reality presents a different picture. There seems to be a palpable gap in the required skills and knowledge within our existing workforce. This is not a commentary on their competence, but rather an indication of the rapid pace of digital transformation. Traditional methods of training may no longer suffice. The need for hands-on experience, real-time problem solving and a deep understanding of emerging technologies is more pressing than ever. Imagine a detective equipped only with a magnifying glass, tasked with combing an entire city for clues. This is the scenario many digital forensic experts find themselves in when using traditional manual methods. While these methods have their merits, they falter in the face of today's gargantuan data sets. It's not just about finding a needle in a haystack anymore. It's about finding a specific grain of sand on a sprawling beach. Training and retaining skilled professionals remains a challenge. The digital sector is vast with opportunities sprawling beyond digital forensics, ensuring that our professionals stay within the domain, motivated and challenged, and we attract new talent to the sector is crucial. Digital forensic analysis is not just about volume, it's about precision. With cyber crimes becoming more intricate, investigators need a scalpel, not a sledgehammer. This nuanced approach where data is not just scoured but understood is where AI shines brightest. By employing intelligent algorithms, AI can sift, categorise and highlight relevant data with a finesse no manual method can achieve. But while the promise of technology shines bright, the challenges cast significant shadows. Two of the most pressing concerns that professionals grapple with today are inherent system weaknesses and the relentless pace of technological advancement. Visit any digital forensic laboratory and you're met with an array of systems, tools and software applications designed to extract, analyse and present digital evidence. As with any system, vulnerabilities exist within these AI tools. 
These aren't just mere glitches, but potential gateways that could compromise the integrity of an entire investigation. Consider a scenario where a software vulnerability results in a partial data extraction, or even worse, data contamination. The ripple effect? Questions about the reliability of forensic results, casting doubts on its admissibility in the corridors of justice. The complexity and sheer volume of modern digital evidence is staggering. From encrypted messaging apps to cloud storage, the data sources are multifaceted and abundant. Can our existing systems handle this volume and intricacy? Are they robust enough to ensure that not a bite of evidence is overlooked or misinterpreted? When the stakes are this high, system weaknesses aren't just technical shortcomings, their potential impediments to justice. As we grapple with these system challenges, the whirlwind of technological advancements adds another layer of complexity. And this brings us to our second challenge, technology itself. Every day there's a new device, a new application, a new platform making its way into the hands of consumers. While this is a testament to human ingenuity, for the digital forensics professional, it's a race against time. New tools mean new data structures, new encryption methods and new challenges. Staying updated is not a luxury, it's a necessity. But this constant evolution can be daunting. Even the most seasoned professionals might find themselves at a crossroads deciphering these new technologies. And with the influx of tools and devices, issues related to compatibility arise. Can the extraction tool for one device work seamlessly with another? Is there a standardised protocol to ensure consistency in this data extraction and analysis? Then there's the question of efficacy. Just because a tool is new doesn't mean it's effective. The digital forensics community finds itself constantly evaluating, testing and validating tools to ensure they don't just work, but they work right. System weaknesses and the rapid pace of technological advancements are but the tip of the iceberg. Addressing these requires not just technical solutions, but a collaborative approach, fostering knowledge exchange and continuous learning. As technology races ahead, the community must run alongside, ensuring that in this digital age, the quest for truth and justice remains uncompromised. Navigating this legal and ethical landscape requires a delicate balance, one that respects the intricacies of the law while ensuring the highest standards of ethical conduct. Privacy is a cornerstone of our digital age. Every byte of data, every digital footprint carries with it the essence of an individual's personal and private life. When investigating digital devices for evidence, professionals walk a tightrope trying to extract information while ensuring they don't overreach and infringe upon an individual's rights. It's not just about what can be accessed, it's about what should be accessed. Further complicating matters are the evolving data protection regulations. In a world where data breaches and unauthorised access are all too common, these regulations serve as a guard, protecting individuals from the potential misuse of their data. However, for the digital forensic investigator, they present a labyrinth of legal stipulations that must be adhered to, ensuring that evidence is extracted in a lawful manner. Then comes the ultimate challenge, the admissibility of digital evidence in court. It's one thing to extract and analyse digital data, but another to ensure it stands up to the rigorous scrutiny of the legal system. Every step, every procedure in the forensic process must be defensible, ensuring that the evidence presented is both reliable and irrefutable. So how does this link with AI? In the vast space of modern computer science, few fields hold as much promise as artificial intelligence. Historically, AI has been a beacon of hope for addressing computationally arduous tasks. 
that today we witness the dawn of a new era. At the core of AI is its ability to find patterns, to connect dots that might seem unrelated at first glance. In digital forensics, this ability is invaluable. AI can traverse the intricate web of data, finding relationships, patterns and anomalies. It can dive into oceans of disparate data, emerging with insights in record time. It's 2030 and a major cyber attack has targeted a multinational corporation, leaving behind a labyrinthine trail of digital breadcrumbs. Traditional digital forensic methods would take months, if not years, to dissect the layers of data and trace the origins of this attack. But with AI-powered tools, investigators can swiftly navigate through petabytes of data identifying patterns, anomalies and potential sources of breaches in a fraction of the time. We might witness AI tools that not only analyse data but also understand context. These tools could predict the relevance of data point even before an investigator realises its importance. So the challenge is to sift through terabytes of data to find a single piece of incriminating evidence quickly and accurately. Traditionally, this would involve manual exhaustive searches that are time consuming and prone to human error. AI with its machine learning algorithms can automate this process, quickly identifying and prioritizing data that is most likely to be relevant. An AI tool scans a suspect's hard drive and prioritises folders and files based on a predefined set of criteria such as file types, last access dates or even content patterns. This reduces the investigator's workload and ensures no crucial evidence is overlooked. Cybercriminals often use sophisticated techniques to hide their tracks. AI can be trained to recognise patterns of malicious activity, even if they're designed to appear benign. A company notices a slight increase in data traffic during off hours. While this might be overlooked by manual checks, the AI system identifies it as a potential data exfiltration attempt, flagging it for immediate investigation. AI can also predict potential future threats by analysing patterns and trends. A technique known as predictive analysis can provide foresight, allowing organisations to be proactive rather than reactive. After analysing months of login data, an AI system predicts a potential unauthorised access attempt on a company's mainframe in the coming weeks, based on observed patterns. The company can then bolster its defences, potentially thwarting an attack before it even occurs. With the proliferation of IoT devices, evidence is no longer just textual or binary. Audio, video and even sensor data can be crucial in investigations. AI, especially with neural networks, can analyse and cross-reference these diverse data types effectively. Multimodal approaches are emerging at a rapid rate. After a suspicious incident in a smart home, investigators retrieve audio recordings from a smart speaker, video feeds from security cameras and sensor logs from various devices. An AI system cross-references all this data, pinpointing the exact moment when an unauthorised entry might have occurred backed by synchronised audio-video evidence. The digital detectives of today face challenges that are vastly different from those of a decade ago. As we traverse the intricate tapestry of modern technology, we come face to face with four monumental challenges that are reshaping the digital forensics landscape. Imagine the Library of Alexandria, but in the digital realm. The vast storage capacities of modern devices from colossal hard drives to compact USB sticks and optical media can be likened to endless digital libraries. Each byte could be a clue, a piece of the puzzle, 
But when you're dealing with zettabytes of data, where do you even begin? And the digital world is no longer centralised. With a rise of distributed systems, data is scattered across nodes, each a potential point of vulnerability. These systems, while offering redundancy and resilience, also open the door to sophisticated attacks that can spring from any node. From your smart refrigerator logging your dietary habits to your car's onboard computer capturing your travel patterns, electronic storage is everywhere. This ubiquity means evidence can also be anywhere and in formats one might not expect. The challenge lies not just in accessing this data, but understanding the nuances of each storage mechanism. Future forensic tools might function like digital cartographers, mapping the vast landscape of distributed systems, pinpointing anomalies and tracing attack paths with precision. Today's adversaries aren't just hackers, they're maestros of digital deception. Their technical acumen has soared to unprecedented heights, often outpacing the very tools and methodologies designed to thwart them. It's a high-octane game of cat and mouse, where the mouse frequently has the upper hand. By 2040, we might see the emergence of adaptive forensic methodologies, where tools evolve in real time, learning from each encounter with an adversary ensuring they're one step ahead. Every investigator knows that time is of the essence. The trail grows cold, evidence can be lost and culprits might slip away. In high-stakes scenarios, like trapping a kidnapper, using digital traces or halting a cyber attack in real time, delays aren't an option. Here, AI emerges as the ultimate ally. By automating analysis, AI shaves off hours if not days from investigations. And this rapid response doesn't just streamline the forensic process. It can be the difference between failure and a case successfully closed. In the neon-lit rooms of future digital forensics labs, screens flicker with rapid sequences of data. Artificial intelligence, with its remarkable analytical prowess, is at the forefront, sifting through the vast terrains of digital evidence at unparalleled speeds. But as we stand on the cusp of this digital renaissance, one thing remains clear. The need for a human touch in a world increasingly governed by algorithms. Imagine a scenario where AI systems identified patterns in massive data streams pointing to potential cyber threats. These systems, by analysing past cyber attacks, predict a new way of targeting healthcare infrastructures. Yet, while the machine sees patterns, it's the human investigator who understands the socio-political implications, the real-world ramifications and the ethical considerations of acting on such intelligence. So it's not just about recognising patterns, it's about understanding them in a broader context. The expertise of a seasoned investigator is irreplaceable. They bring to the table years of experience, intuition and a deep understanding of the human elements behind cybercrimes. While AI tools continue to evolve, they are, at their core, creations of human ingenuity. Thus, human oversight isn't just necessary, it's the bridge that connects the raw data to actionable insights. Consider the case of a video that portrays a political leader declaring war. An AI tool could quickly flag the video as a potential deepfake based on its algorithms, However, without proper training, an investigator might either dismiss genuine evidence or validate. In our increasingly digital world, the stakes in forensic investigations have never been higher. From scuppering terror plots to preventing financial meltdowns, the outcomes hinge on the integrity of the investigative process and the importance of certification and quality control. So what are the problems? 
Well, the unpredictable nature of AI arises primarily because most AI algorithms employ random values, either partially or entirely. This stochastic aspect of AI often renders them non-reproducible. In the context of forensics, reproducibility is a foundational principle. Evidence collected and presented in court must be reproducible under the same conditions to ensure its reliability. However, AI's inherent unpredictability challenges this fundamental forensic principle. For instance, when AI algorithms utilise random values in their processes, reproducing the same outcome multiple times becomes inherently challenging. As a result, evidence generated or influenced by such AI models might not always replicate the exact situation as it occurred during the analysis and investigation. In a court of law, if strict reproducibility principles are applied to such AI-based evidence, it stands a risk of rejection. The rationale is simple. If the evidence can't reproduce the incident's exact situation, how can it be deemed reliable? This conundrum poses a significant dilemma. On the one hand, sticking rigidly to traditional reproducibility principles could mean that valid evidence crucial for a case is dismissed. On the other hand, being too lenient might lead to wrongful implications, such as accusing an innocent party based on unreliable evidence. For example, an AI model's decision might change with slight alterations in its input, leading to different outcomes in repeated tests. If forensic investigators aren't aware of, or don't account for this variability, they might draw incorrect conclusions. Addressing this challenge necessitates a multi-stakeholder approach. Forensic examiners, policy makers and AI professionals must come together to discuss and find a middle ground. It's essential to strike a balance between strict and lenient in applying reproducibility principles. One potential avenue could involve developing guidelines specific to AI-generated evidence, considering the unique nature of AI models. AI professionals, with their deep understanding of the technology, can provide insights into when and how AI outputs might vary. Policy makers can then use this information to frame suitable guidelines, ensuring that the justice system remains both fair and adaptable to technological advancements. Just over the digital horizon is a world where AI in digital forensics is not just an auxiliary tool, but a transformative force. Its potential to solve complex challenges is immense. Imagine AI systems that can instantly trace the digital footprints of missing persons based on their online activity, or predict cyber vulnerabilities in critical infrastructures before they're exploited. Yet, as we charter these unexplored territories, we must remember that AI's true power is realised when it complements, not replaces, human expertise. A future where machines and humans collaborate with mutual respect for each other's strengths. It's not just progressive, it's the key to unlocking unprecedented possibilities. It's evident that the future calls for innovation, adaptability and a blend of human intuition with machine precision. The challenges might be immense, but with the right tools and vision, they're not insurmountable. The next chapter in digital forensics is waiting to be written, and it promises to be an epic saga of intellect, innovation and intrigue. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for watching my video. I truly appreciate your support. If you found the content informative, please check out the links to the articles in the description below for more details on the topics I discussed. Thanks again for being here.